Welcome to A Random Internet Nobody Answers Your Questions. Let's get started. The Black Winged Soul asks, general tips for lying like a son of a bitch on Town of Salem? Uh, the first thing on Town of Salem, the first thing you have to establish before you say anything at all that's going to be a lie, is you have to establish what can be true. For example, if there's a veteran who's known, you can't claim veteran, because that's, you know, a unique role. There can't be two. You know, if you're going to claim a town support, you have to make sure that the two town support roles, if there are two in the round, aren't both dead. You know, the main thing about lying is making sure that you have a stable lie to begin with. And after that, hashtag never stop lying. You know, don't give up. You could be up on the stand and people could be, you know, shouting that you're guilty. But all you need is maybe the one person shouting it votes you guilty, and then one other person believes you, and you get off because it's a split vote. So really, never stop lying is the main thing uh, after you establish the fact that you have a lie that is actually something that could be true. Um, sometimes if you're in a situation where there's no lie that could be true, like let's say uh, the jester is dead, and there's really no other roles you could be other than evil because there's like maybe three of you left or something you may still want to play jester you know you may still want to pretend to be jester because you know like just say you know don't go too far with it that's another rule for lying is don't go don't go overboard you know don't go too far try to be a little bit subtle because if you can convince people that they thought of the answer they're going to believe it a lot more so, for example, if I tell you, my role is Jester, you're not going to believe it because I just out and out told you. But if I say, I'm not saying my role, hee <laughs> hee, you know, uh, then you might think to yourself, gee, I wonder if he's Jester, and that will solidify it in your mind because you thought that you came up with the idea. So let people come up with their own ideas about you uh, if you're trying to play Jester or do something like that. Now, this doesn't always work. Of course, it's a situational thing. You may do things to your, the best of your ability, and people are still like, no, nah, you're evil, and they hang you. So, you know, basically never stop lying. And, you know, that thing I said about pretending your jester, even if there is a dead jester, all that you need to do in that moment is get down off the noose. So if you have no other options but a bad lie, go for the bad lie. Because, you know, maybe one of the people who are left, you know, will actually not know that you're, you know, just lying. So, you know. Zoe Williams says, Will you do a Town of Salem video where you sing all the commentary? Um, I don't know if I want to subject everybody to that. I could, I could do it for sure. I could try it, but it would be very, very annoying and obnoxious and bad. But then again, when has that stopped me before? I don't know. We'll see. Maybe. And you, you're gonna you want to get out of the room seriously you're gonna do this in every uh, fuck all right I'll be right back I'm trying to answer questions for the nice people all these people want to know things I gotta tell them why are you bothering me okay the black winged soul asks general tips for no uh <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I I might sing I might sing a, a video, I don't know. Need more mushrooms asks, is this video some sort of ritual questionnaire? Yes. What games will you play on the channel in the future? I have no idea. Basically, I only know what games I'm going to be playing on the day I record them. Uh usually I'll go to like Game Jolt and do something there or if it's like a group video with like Magnusord and Ross and Dave and Jedi and Dunce, and Emmy, and Putty, and the Ketsup, or whatever. Um, if it's something like that, then really it just comes down to whether or not they're doing something that day. So really, I have no idea what I'm going to do until I do it. Uh, I will say that I'm going to put a moratorium on the Long Dark for a while. I really do enjoy the Long Dark, but I lost maybe two hours, an hour and a half to two hours worth of footage of the game because Fraps, you know, doesn't like to work with the Long Dark, so I'm just, for a while, after losing so much stuff, I'm just going to take a break from it for a while because that really pissed me off.
Yes. All right. Opening soda. Ah, delicious. President Butter Pudding asks, How well are you versed in quantum physics? I am actually not well versed at all in quantum physics. Caddy Sato, Caddy, Caddy Sato, Sato, I don't want to pronounce your name wrong because, you know, that, that probably would break your hearts hearing some random internet douchebag mispronounce your name. Katie Sato says, are you dog? I'm more of a cat person. Uh, I wouldn't say I am cat, though, but I'm definitely not dog. JK, oh, damn it, she was just kidding. Fuck, okay. <laughs> JK, do you have any tips for someone who wants to start a YouTube channel, but it's too shy and afraid of messing up? Yeah, I describe myself here. Um, I know that Putty... Uh, is basically doing this. If you go to Putty Kidia on YouTube, it, she's actually linked on the sidebar of my main page. This is actually what she did. She started a YouTube channel because she was shy. And she's getting, you know, videos out there, you know, just to to get it done and to do it and to get, get out there and get, you know, see what happens, I guess. But, um, yeah, I would say if you're shy, maybe if you have, like, friends that you actually trust, you know, to not you know, s screw everything up and, you know, make fun of the fact you're shy or something. You know, because friends sometimes do shit like that. But if you have friends that you might want to record with that, you know, are funny, or if you have, you know, a game that you're really good at, you know, that might be a good place to start, because that way you're starting, like, on familiar ground. You know, if you're starting with people you already know, or if you're starting with a game you already know, it's kind of like half the battle is already won, because... I would imagine if you're shy, you know, you probably don't want to jump into a game you don't know and then look, you know, quote-unquote, look stupid on the internet, you know. I do that all the time. I jump into a game I don't know, and I look stupid. <laughs> you know, because I'm like, what am I doing? Why is this game so stupid? Why is it broken? You know, and it's really me. But, um, yeah, I would suggest just starting with something you're familiar with. You know, starting with something you're comfortable with. And, you know, from there... You know, after you upload the first few videos, after you get your first few comments and subscribers, you know, it'll show you that really there's no reason pretty much to be shy. You know, that you, you, you pretty much can just uh, put your content out there and people will enjoy it. Caddy Sato also asks, and why we had Amni so much? We had Amni because Amni once chose wrong. And that one time that the Amni chose wrong forever made us hat him. So, yeah. Uh, Squishy Confectionary X. <laughs> what? <laughs> How many cats do you have? I have uh, multiple cats right now. I actually do cat rescue, so in my house right now there's an embarrassing amount of cats that hopefully we'll be able to do something with. So it kind of is an odd question. If you're talking about cats that I actually personally own, quote-unquote, uh, th that would be three. That would be Ella who is the uh, tiny tabby cat. She's a calico, actually, but mostly tabby. She's very small, and she's the one who always begs to get in my lap and always wants to get in and out of the room. She's, like, very attached to me like I'm her mother or something. Uh, there's her brother, whose name is Buster, who's orange and white, and he is gigantic and fat, and he actually serves as, like, a pillow for the other cats. They always curl up to him because he's just a big lard ass. And then there's Johnny, who's all orange, and she is just insane. I mean, she's very loving and caring, but she's one of those cats where the minute you do something a little sketchy, she's, like, hitting and biting you and running away. She just has that little trigger in her head that's like, you know, whoop, oh, death, you know. So those are the main three. You know, the other ones, you know, I don't know. But yeah, uh, I've done maybe, and this is not part of your question, but I've done Cat Rescue, I guess, for maybe a few decades now, and... It always is this thing where, like, as an example, this is like a typical example of what happens. There was this woman who uh, basically was calling around trying to find somebody to take the cats out of her yard. And this was like a big colony of cats. And the reason she wanted them out of the yard was because her husband had said that she was he was going to go out and start shooting them. So, you know, because he was tired of them being around, so he was going to sit out with his hunting rifle and shoot them as they, you know, came out. So she wanted so wanted them gone, you know, wanted them taken away. So nobody else would do it, so that fell to me to take, like, 20-plus cats, get them spayed, get them neutered, 
get them their shots, get them homes, and then to sit there and get them new homes when the homes didn't work out, and do all that shit. So my main advice to people would be don't let your cat go outside if it's not spayed and neutered. I would prefer they not go outside at all because... You know, there's enough cats out there, but if they're spayed, and, if they're not spayed and neutered, you're gonna just make a big problem for someone like me. But anyway, can you make a video with them? Um, I actually have tried to take videos of them before, but the lighting is so fucking bad. The camera I have has no like flash and no, you know, anything like that. It's you know the in terms of the camcorder type camera I have, it's like a little Kodak phone sized camera. But um, it the lighting is so piss poor that you basically can't fucking see anything, so I maybe at some point would make a video with them, but right now you'd have to settle for pictures, because at least on my, you know, photo camera, I have a flash, so yeah. Alright, Devoid asks, hasn't it been like a year since the last one of these videos? Probably! Also, how big is your beard? Well, I shaved it into a goatee, uh, maybe a week ago, so it's right now a goatee and sideburns with the scruff filling in between. So, usually it's pretty big because I just let it grow out until, you know, this is how I, this is how I operate. I let it grow out until I need to cut it for logistical reasons. And once I need to cut it for logistical reasons, I cut it short. And then I let it grow out again. You know, it's, it's the, basically the most lazy way you can do it. And guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's really good. 8-8 eight, eight, Woods. Oh, God damn it! You tricked me! <laughs> Chico Honut? Ch Chico Honut? Ch Ch Chico Honut. Ch uh, <laughs> Do you have a beard? And then the little box, which I assume is supposed to be a smiley face or something. Uh, yes, I do have a beard. Um, I, I've pretty much had a beard since I could grow one. Again, just from a laziness standpoint. It just grew out when I was maybe in my teens. And since then, I've just had it. And I just trim it down whenever, but yeah. Catherine G. Jai. Jo God, why are why do you people have these names? Get better names. Get names that are more, more gooder for Americans like me who don't know what the fuck. We don't know what we're saying. One, don't mean to be that annoying vegan, but are you a vegetarian for ethical reasons? You seem to love animals. I'm glad to hear. Uh, I actually am a vegetarian for ethical reasons. I don't, uh, you know... I don't bother people with it. You know, I know a lot of people will get on your case like, you know, oh, you're a vegetarian, or oh, you're a vegan. Oh, I bet you never shut up about it. Actually, very few people know that I am because it's just a personal thing, and I don't have the idea that I'm going to go around changing other people's minds. You know, like, people are pretty much entrenched. <laughs> people are entrenched in what they're going to do, whether you, you know, bother them or not. So, um, yeah, I actually volunteered at an aquarium when I was a teenager for maybe a year or two. And, you know, dealing with all the fish and seeing how you could have a school of identical fish in the aquarium, all the exact same type of fish that all look exactly the same. But after working there for a while, you know, I could identify which ones were which by how they behaved and, you know, how they would respond to things and what they would do. And I realized, you know, these are personalities you know, that may be anthropomorph anthropomorphizing them, you know, giving them, like, human attributes, but, you know, I realized that wh whatever you call it, whether you want to connect it to personality or, you know, thought, or whether you don't, it still, either way, still meant that, you know, all of these creatures are unique in how they behave and how they act. And so that kind of was, like, an eye-opening thing for me back then. I think I was, like, 16 at the time. God, it's been... Oh god, I don't even I don't even want to know, say how many decades it's been since I have been a vegetarian, but <laughs> once people know you're old, there goes your subscriber count. But yeah. Um I'm young and hip and with it, kids. But yeah, once I realized, you know, that, that fish have different personalities, quote unquote, uh you know, I realized that I couldn't in good conscience eat fish. And, you know, that led, of course, to the idea of, you know, how could I in good conscience eat other animals, you know, because that's basically the same type of thing. Um, again, I don't want to force it on anybody. That's just my personal opinion, and I would hope that other people wouldn't try to force their opinion on me if they disagree. But, yeah. Two, what are some of your favorite books? This is a funny thing. People ask me this sometimes. I don't actually read anything. It's ridiculous. Um, 
I was, you know, most of my books are graphic novels or comic books. Uh, I did read, you know, I have read shit. Like, I read The Relic and The Reliquary and, you know, different things like that back in the day. But I, you know, I spend so much time working on writing and videos now, you know, for the past couple of years and, you know, all these different things that I've been doing that really I don't have time to consume much media at all, including movies and television. You know, because people will say to me, you know, when are you going to see that new movie? And I'm like, you know, well, first it'll have to, you know, leave theaters because I'm not going to see it in the theater. And then it'll have to be like a few years before I eventually get around to looking at it online. <laughs> you know, so I don't really consume much in, in terms of uh, entertainment in general. Number three, favorite horror movies. Speaking of movies, um, favorite horror movies would be uh, Return of the Living Dead. Uh, Night of the Comet. Uh, like, really, I like schlocky horror movies that are really bad, but I like the ones that sort of, you can celebrate their badness. Like, if a movie is just just absolute shit, then of course, you know, that's not something I'm a fan of, but if it's if it has redeeming values where you can watch it and you can laugh, or you can watch it and you can say, that's a really cool scene, but, you know, otherwise the movie is really campy and everything, I do like stuff like that. Um... I would say that, you know, like, the typical person that Jaws and Alien are two of my favorite horror movies, too. Alien, a lot of people think is sci-fi, but, you know, basically it's horror in space. Uh, Jaws, kind of more of a suspense movie, but, you know, you gotta admit, there are some really cool horror elements to there in that. Some of the scariest scenes in movies, I think, are in Jaws. Like, you know, when the swimmer gets pulled under the water, that's like one of the most terrifying things you can watch. And, you know, something that actually made people afraid to swim. So I think that's, you know, a very, a very important horror movie. Uh, thank you for everything you do, smiley face. Well, thank you for posting a question, YouTube douchebag. I am a complete sellout. Now, <laughs> the Mario Tales. Oh, that, and the, the Avatar is, Mar is Tales in a Mario suit. Okay. Is that your OC, or is that... Uh, like a com is that like a meme or is that yeah? Uh, worst town of Salem role. Huh. Um, werewolf. That would be. That would be the werewolf role. Uh, I don't know why it was added. I don't know how they came to the conclusion that werewolf was a good thing to add, but. Uh, werewolf is one of those roles, and this, I say this about Vampire, too. Werewolf is both overpowered and underpowered. Ideally, you want to have something, like, in the middle ground that's not overpowered or underpowered. So I think when a role is both overpowered and underpowered, then that's a problem. Because, you know, Werewolf is overpowered in that, you know, you could be in a round where they just slaughter everybody. And you know, they they kill everybody in one night except for one person, and then, and then they win, you know, basically late in the game. And, you know, the fact that it's immune at night every night now, uh, you know, it kind of is, like, really overpowered. It's like a serial killer, even though you can only kill every, you know, two nights, it's sort of like a serial killer that can kill just a bunch of people. Which makes you wonder, then, why do we have the serial killer anymore? Because, you know. Uh, it's also underpowered in that you know, the minute anybody says, you know, this person is Survivor, Witcher, Werewolf, you're fucking dead. You know, the minute an investigator finds you. And this also ruins the game for Survivor and Witch, because they're going to be hung on suspicion of being Werewolf. So it kind of just, it screws everybody, including the person playing Werewolf. You know, the fact that they can only kill every two nights is also a big hindrance, because if you get down to the end of the game, and, you know they're about to hang you the next day and your night is not a killing night, that means that as werewolf, all you can do is sit there at night and just wait to be hung the next day. You have no options. So, you know, it's the same thing with vampire, you know, where it's both underpowered and overpowered. Because vampires, you know, can take over the town and skew the vote and you never know they're there. And that's kind of overpowered. But yet vampires also, you know, just get killed in the night and that's it, you know, and they, you know have to, if they can't bite somebody, if they can't bite a mafia member, if they can't bite, you know, then that's kind of underpowered, you know, so it's, it's, it's weird that, like, have to get somewhere in the middle ground there. Uh, 
Forger and Vampire Hunter also shit rolls. Chess Plays says, will this mixtape be out soon? I have no idea what you're talking about. If you're talking about the video answering questions, then it's out right now. <laughs> the Woo Wooster says, I can't come up with good questions, but I still want you to answer a question of mine. So, uh, what is the diameter of the Earth? You don't have to answer if it's too personal. Uh, the diameter of the Earth is... One. Okay. <laughs> it's one Earth in diameter. There you go. Tyler Robinson says, Do you enjoy making videos for everyone? I actually do. I think this is probably the most enjoyable thing I've tried doing. Uh, writing is fun, but it's a lot of fucking headache. Uh, drawing, I you know never could really get the hang of drawing very well, so I always was frustrated with that. Making videos is, you know, people seem to enjoy what I'm doing, and I enjoy doing it, so that's, you know, always a plus. The Confused Words says, What's your favorite emoji? Um, I don't know if this counts, but on Skype, they let you put in, like, clips from movies. Like, they have a little list of uh, video clips that you can put up. And basically, I've been spamming people with ones from, like, Bollywood films. So, my favorite emoji is probably, uh, if this counts as an emoji, is a Indian guy dressed as, like, Elvis in, like, a disco. And he goes... I am a disco dancer, and the horns go doot 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 doot. I, you know, I love sending that to people because it's so fucking insane and stupid, and you know, it has no meaning. And people, you know, I could just, I could just feel them getting annoyed, and I just love it. All right, oh, damn it, laud, laud in a dum dum, laud in a dum dum, laud laud in a laud in a dum laud in a dum dum dum. I know there's I know there's an element in there. It just is hard for me to <laughs> pick it out. Do you ever plan on doing live streams on YouTube or Twitch? I actually can't. Uh, my internet is too shit for that. My upload speed is like uh, five megabytes per second or something, or or less. Uh, I actually think it's less. I I can't remember exactly. But my upload speed is so piss poor that I can't stream. Uh, I have AT&T, and that basically is, like, one of those things where it's, like, the only game in town that, you know, actually, you know, something I can use. Uh, you know, monopolies, etc. Also, were you high when you recorded this? No. If yes, can I have some? No. Um, strange fact, I actually have never done any mind-altering substance, including alcohol. I think I had one drink one time. Uh, it was a screwdriver, and that was after... So I broke up with someone. But that was it, just the one thing. And, you know, a lot of people may be surprised by that because I act like a fucking idiot, so... People may think I'm drunk or stoned or wasted or on meth or crack or whatever, but nope, just me! Oh, jeez, what is this? Oh, there's a read more button, boom! Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, that really, that read more button certainly needed. Okay. Um... Icy Flame Dragon asks, favorite creepypasta you have made? Uh, probably what to do with human baby. It's I, I like the funny ones that make no sense and are strange. If you if you haven't read it, just Google what to do with human baby in uh, quotation marks, and I'm sure that's the only thing that'll come up because where else are you gonna see that phrase? Uh, Icy Flame Dragon also asks, is this memes? No, it's maymays. Okay. You, your best friend, and the love of your life are trapped in a room. One of you will die instantly, one will die slowly, and one will be set free. Who do you have die instantly, who do you have die slowly, and who do you set free? Uh, I probably would have the love of my dreams die instantly. I would have my best friend die slowly, because I would, you know, work it around so that I'd be like... I'm gonna die slowly so you can live, best friend. And he'd be like, no, let me, you know, because he's my best friend. He'd be like, no, let me die slowly so you can go free. And I'd be like, oh, no, but okay. And then I'd, you know, I'd go free. So, yeah. Um, the love of my dreams can, you know, die instantly because we haven't met if she's of my dreams. So, you know, what what does it matter to me? <laughs> oh, God. Blah, blah, blah asks, can you make a video of your cats all together? Uh, yeah. Well, I just answered this. 
Why are you asking this when I just answered it? Oh wait, yours was the first one and also the video hasn't come out yet. But yeah, I mean, the lighting thing is a huge problem. I could hold a lamp up to my cat's face and record them, but I don't know. Death to the Pilgrim says, Can you show us more pictures of your cats? How about this? Do 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 I'm cutting in a picture of a cat. Robert Hughes asks, did you buy TOS on Steam or do you play in browser? I actually played in browser for a very long time, and then they had uh, Town of Salem in a bundle that was like $4 for like a bunch of games. So I bought it at that point thinking, you know, well, you know, at least I'll have a copy of it if in case anything ever, you know, goes wrong, like I can't get on the browser version or whatever, I'll have, you know, the Steam version as a backup. But the thing is, now I always use the Steam version because the video files are much smaller. So that enables me to record more rounds at a time. So there you go. More, more information than you wanted. Okay. And now I will take a sip of soda. Ah, some YouTubers may cut together their clips of them answering questions. But not me, because I'm going to answer all of them. Blurtle the Turtle asks, tips for being a jester on Town of Salem? Um... You want to be subtle. I know I've said this before, but I'm going to go sort of in a different direction here. You can't be obvious that you're, you know, trying to show everyone you're evil, because people will immediately say you're Jester. So what you want to do is, like, if a mayor reveals, you want to you want to claim something to them, like, in a whisper. Like, if a mayor reveals on the first day... You know, just whisper to them and claim something, you know, that is easily disproven. Like, say, I'm spy. Or say, I'm veteran. And that way, if a veteran is shown and it's someone else, the mayor is going to say, he lied about his role, and they'll hopefully hang you. Uh, if you say you're spy, you know, hopefully they'll do, like, a spy test, and you won't be able to read whispers. So then they'll say, he can't read whispers, and he claims spy, kill him. You know, there's different things like that, and that's just, you know, in a mayor situation, but, uh, you know, there's different things you can do, like, talking as little as possible as a jester is a good thing, because the more you talk, the more you're going to dig your own grave of people thinking you're trying to get hung. You kind of have to just rely on hopefully not being killed during the night, because, you know, if you don't say anything the first day, you don't say anything the second day, you don't say anything the third day... You know, there is a big chance you're going to die during the night before you get hung, but the alternative is speaking too much and not getting hung because people know you're Jester. So eventually, you know, just watch for your opportunities. Uh, on day three, someone might say, I was roll-blocked last night. And then you might have an opportunity to say, yeah, I'm the escort, I roll-blocked him, I can confirm it. And then someone else might say, whoa, 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 no, I'm the escort. And then, you know, you have a chance of possibly getting hung. You know, so you got to wait for your opportunities where, you know, something comes up in the game for you to exploit. If you try to go into it inventing your own reason to get hung, like you go into the game saying, you know, boy, it sure is a shame that guy died. ha. Not saying I did it. You know, if you go in doing something like that, trying to invent your own reason to be hung, then, you know, people are going to pretty much see through that. It used to be back in the day that you could say pretty much anything and get hung as Jester, because people were new and, you know, things like that, but now people are kind of wise to it, so I don't know. And sometimes not talking, you know, is enough to get you in trouble anyway, because people will say, you know, this person's being quiet, roll, and then you just say something like, I prefer not to say my roll. And, you know, people will get, oh, oh, you must be evil. You know, so you gotta, you got to play it subtle, but you got to make sure you do get in the game. You know, you have to be involved some way, but it has to be in a very subtle way. It's very it's very tricky now. I don't know. Deathbuster108 asks, I asked this... <laughs> Deathbuster, spit it out. <laughs> I asked you this on the other one, but I want to make sure. Are you planning to do YouTube long-term, eventually a job? I, ideally, I would love to. You know, uh... The slight problem is that it's been, let's see, I think it's been about two years I've been doing YouTube. And I've gotten to 7,000 subscribers. You know, basically, I'm rounding up. And that is fantastic. But then I sit there and I think, well, you know, the people who make a living off YouTube have like 500,000 subscribers. 
So I'm thinking it'll basically take me like 200 years to get to that point if I'm still going at this rate. <laughs> so kind of an odd thought. I would love to do YouTube as a, as a career. Uh, I don't see myself stopping anytime soon. Something really bad would happen for me to have to stop and put it on, you know, hold or whatever. Uh, knock on wood that it doesn't happen. But yeah, um, I would love to do this. I, I really just... It's that thing of, in order to do it as a career, I need to get further with the subscribers, with the views, etc. And I'm, you know, I'm really bad at self-promoting. Because I don't want to be like... I don't want to turn into one of the... YouTube personalities that basically is like, you know... Well, hey, everybody! Welcome back to Minecraft! And what are we doing today? Oh, we're going to find out if, you know... Jessica here has made a new map for us. Oh, look at this! Oh, it's amazing! You know, I want to still be me. You know, I don't want to turn into what people want to see. You know, because the people who have sort of an inbuilt audience are people who do a certain thing, and I don't want to do that certain thing just because that's what people want to watch. I want to still just do my thing, so... You know, that may be a detriment, but we'll see. I don't know. But yeah, I would like to do it as a long-term thing. Cosmic Dog says, When you drink with Magna, does your anus turn blue or yellow, and what happens to Magnus? Steal the Fox says, <laughs> What do you taste like? By the way, nice song. Uh, pr probably sweat and hair, I would guess. I would just guess. K <laughs> J, Kip J. Kipsy Dude. J. Kipsy? J I... What? Okay. J. Kipsy Dude, what is your favorite meme? That would be Insanity Wolf. I like Insanity Wolf a lot. Uh, I just, you know, the idea of... You know, because I, I try to... In a much lesser... In a much less insane way, I sort of like to behave that way in life. Like, you know, new game, break it! You know? <laughs> People like Undertale, say you hate it! You know, I like to just go and... Do whatever the fuck, and, you know, if people don't like it, you know, they can not like it, and that's fine, but, you know, I'm still, I'm just being honest, and I'm just doing things the way I want to do it. Insanity Wolf, you know, a much more extreme example of that, so yeah. El Chupacabra 50 says, will you be playing Binding of Isaac after birth? <laughs> um, I could, I mean, if it's on sale at some point, for very cheap, I might. You know, that's the whole thing, is I... This goes back to, like, the doing YouTube as a career thing. I'm basically not making much uh, money doing this. So when it comes to games... Like, you may notice I don't play Far Cry. I don't play GTA V. I don't play, you know, Just Cause or, you know, these... Re you know, whatever new game there is out. I don't know. Um, you may notice I don't do that. And that basically... It's not because I wouldn't be interested in it. It's basically because I'm not going to... I can't really fork out the money for that to play it a few times on my channel and then move on. So, you know, things have to be on sale. Because, you know, I pretty much am already in the negative doing the YouTube channel. I make, a, I make a decent amount of money. But I also spend out that much doing the YouTube stuff. So, <laughs> so you know, it kind of it breaks even. So, you know, if it's on sale, maybe. Silver Livius, and I should go back to that, actually. I, you know, I used to accept gifts of games, but I stopped doing that because I, you know, basically, people would send me games and they would be like, you know, here's a game that you're really going to enjoy, it's a wonderful game. And if I didn't enjoy it, I, you know, that would be like, I f would feel really bad about it. So I kind of, you know, I also don't really accept gifts, because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to exploit people and, you know, have them pay for things to send me stuff, and then I'm like, eh, I'm not going to play this on my channel. Next gift, you know. I don't want to turn into that kind of shit, so. Silver Livius, are you planning to do a face reveal? Um, at 10,000 subscribers, I'm doing a face reveal. The reason I picked 10,000 is because it's a far way away, and you'll all be, it'll be far too late for any of you to back out once you see my face. Okay. Jillybean1213... Colon P. Okay. Favorite candy show and dinner. Uh, favorite candy. Uh, oh, boy. I'm gonna have to just go the 
boring route and just say Mentos, the fresh maker. I, you know, since I was a kid, I've liked those. I don't know why. Uh, anything sour, I guess. Sour candies. I don't like gummy candies. They're disgusting. You know, it's like it's like chewing old phlegm. I'm like, ugh. But yeah, sour candy, sour jelly beans, sour Mentos, things like that. Uh, favorite show? I Breaking Bad. I think was my favorite show up until the last season. I feel like the last season turned into like bad fan fiction, but uh, Breaking Bad was my favorite show. And dinner. Oh, jeez, dinner. I don't know, I just... I mean, again, normal boring answer, pizza. Pizza is pretty much my favorite fucking thing. I don't know. Our Therminator. What would happen if creepy... Bleh. What would happen if creepypastas became your fetish? Um, Then you would be saying Slen Pie Notice Me, I guess? Ha! <laughs> what a fucking bad joke. Raven2002 says, Igloo? Uh, guava. Les Sky says, is this Pepe, is this a rare enough Pepe? Well, let's take a look. Wah, it's so rare I can barely handle it. Wah. Cosmic Dog, hey, Cosmic Dog, you already asked the question, you bad dog. Cosmic Dog says, Kanye West or Tormental? Honestly, probably Kanye West. I mean, you know, let's be honest here. Which one of us, which one... Which one has the bigger fan base? Which one has made more of an impact in the creative fields? I mean, probably Kanye West. Now, if we're talking about who Kim Kardashian would have a better time in bed with, then the answer flips, but you know. Kitten, when face cam. 10,000 subscribers! Kevin! Kevin, you, you be a good kitten! You stop it! Robert Hughes asks, Chicken, beef, or steak tacos? How about... Vegetable tacos. <laughs> um, I actually am a big fan of bean burritos. So, you know, bean and cheese burritos instead of chicken beef or steak tacos, maybe? Is that an acceptable answer? Donkey Kong Man 1001. Why do you hate Canada? Um, it sort of is like a running joke in America to hate Canada. Basically, let me, you know, maybe this will be helpful for people who are outside the United States who have seen this before. Um, everybody in America essentially knows that Canada is better than America. Like, the people are nicer. Uh, they have free health care. Uh, they're more progressive in a lot of ways. Some people would say, you know, too progressive in certain ways, and I wouldn't necessarily disagree in some aspects. But, you know, basically everybody in America looks as, at Canada as, like, the older brother that everybody tells you to be like. You know, like, why can't you be more like Canada, America? You know, when uh, when Americans travel overseas, uh, sometimes they pretend to be Canadian just because, you know, people will give you shit for being American. You know, so, you know, Canada is sort of like that, as I said, that older brother, that golden boy that people say, you know, why can't you be like your neighbor to the north? So in response to that, there's sort of is like a running joke type thing where, you know, people in America will just shit on Canada. Like, oh, Canada, those savages, you know, those assholes to the north. You know, Canada is just America's hat. Look at it. You know, look at that big blob of pink on the map. That's disgusting. You know, so it sort of is like a good-natured kind of joke that uh, America makes fun of Canada and hates Canada a lot, but behind that it's because we're jealous. You know, so that sort of is like the unspoken joke about that. There probably are some people who actually do hate Canada. I'm not speaking for those people, but... In terms of the majority of people who make jokes about it, that's pretty much why. Uh, Jamie, oh my god, that picture. Jamie says, or Jame says, Are we ever going to get a face reveal that isn't just your cats? I answered this two other times! Why do you keep at- Oh wait, yeah, again, you haven't seen the video yet. Um, yeah, I think maybe around 10,000 subscribers? Not sure. <laughs> Square Bloke says, Is this a bad question? Uh, yes. 